Preparing artwork for Sunrise High Tech is as easy as following three simple steps. First, navigate to the product you are interested in and download the appropriate template if available. In most cases, a PDF template to be used in Adobe Illustrator or InDesign is going to produce the highest quality artwork. Step two, open the template file and replace the sample artwork with your own artwork. Rename the template file something relevant for your project and save it to your computer. Step three, navigate back to the product page on Sunrise High Tech and upload your new artwork and select the appropriate options when ordering your custom print job. Follow the rest of the checkout process and we will get started on your job. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a design for a custom iPhone case with Adobe Illustrator. We will start out by typing in sunrisehightech.com in the browser window. After arriving at the home page, I'm going to type iPhone in the search box and hit return. Here in the search results, you can see the custom iPhone case. I will click on it to take me to the product page. Once on the product page, I'm going to browse until I find the template for the size product I want. Today I'm going to download the PDF file for the 6 and 7 series and save that to my desktop. On the desktop, I'm going to launch Adobe Illustrator and open the PDF file I just downloaded. You should make sure that the Layers menu is open and if it's not, you're going to want to open that. In the Layers menu, you're going to see several layers. One layer is called Notes. This has some tips and info about the template. Another layer is Artwork Mask. In this example, this trims the artwork to the bleed so you can easily preview your work. The final layer in this example is the Artwork layer. This is the layer that will get printed on your custom case. I'm going to go to the artwork layer and delete the existing sample artwork. I'm then going to place an image I like into that artwork layer. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the artwork and position it to where I want it. Next, I'm going to open some new artwork that I already created. Once that is open, I'm going to select all and copy, switch back to my template, and paste it back into the template file. I'm going to reposition the artwork to my liking. I'm now going to turn on the Notes layer so you can get a better idea of how the artwork is going to print. Notice the green line following the perimeter of the case. This green line is the trim line. It is important to extend your artwork beyond this line into the magenta line so you don't have a white border. The artwork for the case will be the area inside the green line. So if you have any critical artwork too close to that line, you might want to move it inside. Now I'm going to save out my new file. I'm going to make sure it is still a PDF and make sure the Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is selected. Now I'm going to switch back to my browser and make sure I am on the iPhone custom case page. You will notice how you can change the quantity and the price per unit changes to reflect the adjusted pricing. Right below the file upload, I will click on the Choose File button to browse my computer and point to the file I just created and select it. Below that button, you can add a note if you would like. The next step is to hit the Add to Cart button. At this time, your computer is uploading the high-res file to our servers, so there might be a long delay, 
at this point if you are on a slow internet connection. Once the next page loads, you can follow the checkout procedure and we will get started on your job. If you have any questions or get stuck, please contact us. Thank you.